Hi guys, Amanda here from the Lenscap Chronicles. Thanks for joining me. We've got an epic journey this weekend. We'll stay overnight in Al Baha. The next morning it's back to Jeddah and we'll be exploring the old town, uh, which is called Al Balad. I cannot wait to share with you what this weekend's adventure entails. Good morning from Pato Suites in Al Baha. We are just waking up and getting ready for our flight back to Jeddah, uh, where we plan to look around Al Balad, the old town. But beforehand, I thought I had to show you the bathroom and facilities. This is typical of many rural hotels in Saudi Arabia. It came with no toilet paper. Oh no! And no soap. There were no towels even. I can't do it. No coffee. And one mug for two people. Here we have the breakfast area. It's actually a really lovely views. It's not quite open yet. They've said 10 more minutes. Something they're not short of in the Middle East is space. So this huge dining area. And we've even got an outdoor seating area. Cultural experience this morning, McDonald's for breakfast. Hello, sir. Can we get two uh, coffees, two coffee lattes? Coffee, what in coffee, sir? It's American collection, latte in uh, Morocco. La latte. Latte? Yeah, two. Two lattes, please. Two latte, large size? Uh, yeah, please, yeah. And? And can I get the sausage McMuffin with egg? I'll do the same. Thank you. Awesome. All right, brilliant. Thank you. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Hello. Good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Chinese too. You're on the road. 45 minutes to the airport from here. So we need to get moving. Wait for a sausage and egg and muffin. Yeah, it's taking a bit of time for the drive through. Yeah, I'm fine. They say I'm just without order. Yeah. Well, we hope. Very well, good. See what we get first. Nice. It's not like they've got a flight to catch. Here it comes. So, breakfast is served. Thank you. Awesome, okay. That's Thank great, you. thanks a lot, then. Great stuff, thanks a lot. Woohoo, coffee! McDonald's Dal Jirashi for the win. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. That looks pretty standard to me. It's not egg and bacon because obviously bacon is haram here. 
it's not too bad. Funny how we have to rely on the Western food to get us by in Zambi. right next to the taxi rank and this is where we will be getting our uber coming in just a few minutes to take us to the old town so we've arrived in albalad this is the old historical district of jeddah and jeddah is the second largest city in saudi arabia it's baking hot we're gonna do some exploring Albalad is a UNESCO World Heritage listed site and there's not many people living here anymore since the discovery of oil. Albalad is a great place just to come and get lost, wander around the streets. There's little narrow alleyways everywhere. It's really old looking. I mean, half the buildings, this one, look at this one. It's just on a slope. I'm not quite sure how long that one's going to last. <laughs> but it's just quite quaint. All these wooden structures that have been here for so many centuries. Lots of really interesting door frames and windows. We are ready to look around some of these alleyways and tiny little historical districts uh, full of old things. There's also somewhere around here an interesting non-Muslim cemetery that's been involved in some conflict in Saudi Arabia in the past. I'm not sure if we'll come across that on our venture today. There's quite a few neighbourhoods and districts in this area and we're going to have a little wander around. desert flowers that just seem to grow so easily amongst all the heat and very little water. We do have to be a little bit careful filming in Saudi Arabia but the Albala district is a little bit more touristified uh, and maintained so they do expect tourists here and so far I haven't been stopped but I guess just trying to be respectful of especially women and not stopping to take photos of places. Al Balad District, Al Makli Lane. Look at this. Sabiya Bar in Saudi Arabia. Albalad district and you can see this newly 
refurbished one here and this is the older one almost falling to pieces still um, charming in its own right but it would be so nice to see this town restored and maintained so that many more people can enjoy it it's a bit of a shame the time of day we're here because none of these stores are open you can see barbers there's watches being sold fragrances and all of these doors in the evenings are open and this heads down to Hunt Gate which is just in front and that's the main entrance to the Albalad area.